Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do a flip through for you guys. A quick one so you can see what is inside of this BJU Math Grade 1 book. This is just the beginning of the math book and the contents. There is a number of manipulatives that are perforated that you can just pop right out and they give you like a clock to use for games and such. I will share with you guys what's in the contents. You can pause this page so you can look at everything on here, but it goes from numbers to 20, place value, subtraction, data, money, um, addition facts, times, calendars, and fraction and geometry, all the way to measuring and then larger addition, um, double digits. They even go into um, triple digits, subtracting in addition, and um, money. So that is all of the things that they will be learning in this book. One, they're doing zero through 10, comparing numbers. I'm gonna just go through here really quickly to show you guys um, what she did. Now, since we are starting first grade workbook in the middle of our first grade year, that's probably why it's a little easy. Because we kind of already did this, I feel, already. Addition sentences, um, 4 plus 2 is 6, 2 plus 4 is 6, and they show that with colors. And I had her skip some pages. She doesn't know that some of the pages on here she skipped because I just pulled them out because it's just very repetitive, and I feel like she already knows that concept, so I don't want to keep on trying to have her master it if she's already mastered it, if you know what I'm talking about. So I want to kind of move on and um, challenge her a little bit, not too much where she gets too challenged and aggravated where she doesn't understand things, but I want to push her a little bit and see what she knows. So the second, or this is the third chapter. This is um, 10 to 100. And this is just having them kind of look at it, figure out what's in the tens and what's in the ones, and then adding it, comparing numbers, which is what she's familiar with. And um, this is what she's going to be starting to work on, which is count to 100 by 1s, 5s, and 10s, which we have done this year already. So it'll just be a nice little review. So that was up to page 60. And right now this is going into the fourth chapter. So every chapter in the teacher guidebook, they have this picture here for the students. And then the teacher reads a story for every new chapter, um, helping with a new concept they're going to talk about, which I think is wonderful. So that's why I was so excited to get the teacher guide, but I got the wrong edition. <laughs> um, so this one is cross out to subtraction. This is something that I think will be super simple for her, but it's just always good to review. Chapter five, they're doing tally charts, which I think is super fun for her because we talked about tallies um, several times this year and it'll be nice for her to see if she has remembered everything. Um, putting them in the urinal numbers, um, who's fourth, who's ninth, and they're gonna be asking left and right, so they're gonna have to understand which one's the left, which one's the right side. Chapter six, they're gonna be talking about pennies, nickels, and dimes. Now we have not talked about, we've done money games and manipulatives before, but we have not like had actual worksheets um, where it's like spiral learning or mastery. We just did a few couple worksheets here and there that she's done on an erasable little um, thing. So she, we have talked about money and coins, but nothing where we've reviewed it in a like an actual math book with Bob Jones University. There's might have there might have been a couple of them for kindergarten that she's done, but nothing, nothing like this. So number lines, combining ten. They're going to be combining three um, actual numbers to make an addition sentence, which is very good. And then they're going to review what they learned in the money chapter. Chapter 8, they're going to be telling time, which we actually did a lot of work on in our Kumon book, and she finished that up. So this should be pretty simple for her. So if your first grader is just now learning time, this will be great. And it'll be just a good refresher for her. And she loves calendars. So here, for instance, without a teacher's edition, it says follow your teacher's directions and um, complete the sentence. They might have directions for me in the teacher's guide to do. I'll just kind of wing it and I'll make some stuff up, but they have lots of things in here to do. Then they have a review. And then chapter nine, they're talking about fractions, which is what I really want her to, to like master um, just the basics of fractions. And I want her 
to really understand her time and her money for her first grade and adding and subtracting. If she could memorize some addition facts and subtraction facts, that would be great as well. All right, so they're doing facts, fact families for four. Why did I say four? Fact families for 11 and 12. And then they're going to be reviewing the fractions. Then they're gonna be doing the attributes of shapes, drawing shapes, that will be fun, composing shapes. For chapter 12, they're gonna group, they're gonna do group to add. So as you can see, they're gonna have the tens, and they're gonna put the two in the tens column, the threes in the ones column, the tens in the one column, and then the fives in the ones column or the tens in the tens column and the fives in the ones column. So they're going to be doing two digit addition. So we're probably in the middle of the math workbook right now. We're at 200, page 211 and there's about 400. So now they're going to be subtracting ones and subtracting tens, doing double digit subtraction. They're subtracting money. Now I'm going to go into the next chapter is going to be measuring, which is pretty simple. They're going to be talking about geometry again, and I'm going to try to go through here a little quicker so you can just see, for instance, what they're going to be learning, three-digit place value. Then they do the reviews at the end of the chapters. You can see that they do a little review on the clocks, and if you have the teacher's guide, um, you can read a, a story to them, and then this is also nice because they have a note to the teachers for the beginning of the chapter. They're going to be comparing weights and capacities. And then for chapter 18, they're going to add doubles, fact family doubles, and then they do some reviews. They're talking about nickels and quarters, and they're talking about pennies for chapter 19, and dollar bills right here. They're going to go over the time again, and probably they're doing estimation on time, so it gets a little harder, and then they're going to do calendar. Combine to make 10 for chapter 21, and I think 22 is the last chapter, so I'll show that to you guys real quick. I think chapter 22 is just review of everything. Let's see what it shows here. Yeah, chapter 22, they're going to review counting 1 through 120. They're going to be writing the number represented, basically going over everything. Measuring, addition, fractions, charts, and graphs. So this is definitely going to be a good review at the end. If you have any questions about this curriculum, um, let me know and I will comment down below for you guys and answer your questions. Thanks so much for watching.